Spite you, okay? I just I get so mad and I can't control things, and then you know shit just falls on top of me. My life sucks right now, and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out. But all that wimpy shit is just well, I'd say gay, but I have some friends who are gay, so that's not cool anymore. And the ones that I don't really like, it's not because they're gay. So lame, all right? You are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes. You do bad shit and things. I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, not in this so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job, and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job, because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better-built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit! Let's go. We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. What's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know, s stuff? No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been... it's... It's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city? Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. No caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle guru and a little bit more boy toy, please? Uh, excuse me. I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, what are you doing? Ah! Ah! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say it. I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone Shut up! Uh... I guess we could try. 
All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Uh, yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, 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 but what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. Oh. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god, no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo? That asshole? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's first eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I think they're in here. That shook me up. I said back streets. Damn, fuck that trap. All I know is those hood rats better have a I'm looking for something hip that. You know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes. And if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is gonna have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh, uh... Come on, just not the tongue. I need that for my work. Ow! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? I'm by coastal. I can't have metal on my fucking face. Ugh. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah. Ugh. Ugh. Ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks purdy. Here, let's get rid of this. Ah! Oh, my God! Ah. Papa Bear! What's Daddy Number Two gonna think about this? Ah. Let's not get him involved. Ah. Let's do. Are, are we gonna match? Uh, look, are you gonna tell me what you're drawing, or, or is it a surprise? Ah. Stop! Should I draw his three pubic hairs? Ah, oh. There we go. Oh, Nice. Oh. You got like a camera phone or a mirror I can Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror, smash oh. you over the head with it. Oh, nice fuck this. Oh. Ah. Ah. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. When I get nervous, I evacuate my bowels. It's seeping out. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. There's ever a family that needs therapy. <laughs> My pony. How do I look? It's not good, is it? Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Hey, what's 
not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help four dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Huh? Now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian? Around the head with a laptop? Oh yeah, like how? Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad him. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? He's so up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not an objective universal good, but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good. Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> do it, Dad. Yeah, do, do it. it. Do, do it. it. Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. And seeing as you two aren't into it, you can just sit there and be quiet. That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, and at least for the meantime. Thank you. Shit! <laughs> Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. I'm fighting. Amanda! Hello! Good to see you again. Michael, I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. <clears throat> this is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm, it's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda, trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really all the time we have. Oh. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right then. Kids! So, will you drive us home? You know, there was a moment there, I thought... What? I don't know, like, maybe we still had a ways to go, you know, like... 
Maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you raided. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or... hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining anything. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? What? No. No. Jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? I give it my best shot. Hey, thanks a lot. Site inspection. Architect on site. Anything we need to be worried about? The only thing we're worried about is you changing the plans again. There's always scope for improvement. Always is. Those idiots drilled the new caissons on the west side. You're kidding me. The bedrock ends there. We need caissons on the east side. Ah, uh, no drama. It's a government contract. We'll be paid until completion. I ain't taking a fall for this screw up. It's a government contract. No one's taking a fall, except the government. I don't know you. I thought. Oh, my God, no. Got him? Of course I do, homie. Here. Thank you. So, all good? Sure, homie. So is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that? Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. 
All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe I am. <laughs> Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So we could plant some firebombs. They go bang, the emergency call goes out. We hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. Sounds relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by a division of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah, any, many, money, mo. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked up. It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously? I got a mop? Yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play-acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you can torch the truck and get out. The car doesn't have to be anything special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymasters will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access to the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed to the teeth, mind you, just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or parachuting? Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Now, Haynes has given us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Of course. Now, you'll need a, a hacker, a gunman, and a driver. The hacker won't come in with you, but they'll help you break the system, talking you through the process from a remote location. They did good Evangelico, remember? I don't know how long it'll take you to get into the network. The gunman's there to buy you the time you need. After what went down at the jewelry store, I could definitely take a chance on them again. The driver will be waiting outside on getaway. They'll source a vehicle, so bear that in mind. Ah, my lucky charm from the jewelry store. Okay, that all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. <laughs> and we have a winner. <laughs> I'll make the arrangements and call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit. You know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you-know-who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay.
Ah, hello, my friend. Hey, what are you looking so cool, calm, and collected for? I guess because I'm not the one who's about to die based on some inappropriate decision I made a long time ago. Ah, thanks for the moral support. I appreciate it. What the fuck ever happened to burying the past, huh? Any fool should be able to turn over a new leaf, right? Well, first, your new leaves aren't so very different from your previous leaves. It seems like they fell from a pretty similar tree. And second, for the age of the internet, my ludite friend. Nothing is forgotten. There are no new leaves. Everything you do and don't do is recorded forever and used to beat you. This is the age of Judgment Day every day. And in the revelation of that, I'd say that you got off pretty lightly. What with all the uh, murders and the, and the thefts and... All right. This straight-talking new, uh, tell it like it is reality guy act. Uh -huh. It ain't working so well for me. In that case, um, don't worry about it. Everything is fine. You're a good man and a great father, really. It's more like it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey. So what y'all talking about? The Internet age. <laughs> the Internet age? Oh, yeah. Man, ain't we got a highly defended federal building to fucking rob? Yes, we do. Let's get after it. I'm going to miss this place. If we're going to do this thing and maybe take that score, well, I... I guess this has all got to be gone. All right, with the sad goodbyes. Agent Stevie cleared the noose building in Palomino Highlands as a base for this op. All right, now let's roll on this thing. Why are you so chipper? See, why are you so miserable? Must be an H thing. Great. Now there's something to look forward to. What's the plan again, man? And please, let it involve someone shooting you for being so goddamn miserable. Oh, what is this? Pick on me day? Look, I know I'm a miserable old prick, but give me a break. You and Lester. Shit. So the plan was feeling sorry for your ass, right? I miss Lester saying that shit, for sure. Let's feel sorry for Mike. Rich, white Michael, poor Michael, who robbed banks for 10 years, then got his slate wiped clean. Yeah, yeah. Poor Michaels, whose homies get in the shit with the FIB out of the kindness of their own heart, put their necks on the line. Man, where's my get out of jail free car, motherfucker? I'm sorry, okay? You know what, Mike? You're a real easy dude to identify with, man. Poor me. Poor me. Man, pour me a drink, nigga. Okay, okay, I can see. Maybe I've been a little caught up in myself. A little? Hey, just give me the plan, okay? All right. Here's the shot. We're taking a chopper up to altitude, jumping out, and climbing in through the Bureau skylight. We hit the computer system. That might take a while, so we gotta hold off any resistance. Once we're in the system, we download the files, chopper picks us up. Hey, that was real simple, wasn't it? I'm informed now, dawg. So you want to wallow in some more of your self-pity? Get another free therapy session? Actually, now that you mention it... Hey, fuck you! Honest and angry. This is some of the best mental health work I've done in years. The place is up here. Chopper pilot, gunman, driver, and hacker should be waiting. I'll radio in. Guys, you there? Waiting on you. This place is in the creeps, Holmes. Same with this fed pilot. All right, I need IT outside the FIB building. Ready for the cyber part of this op. I'll be on standby, boss. Hey, here we go, man. This is on. Alright, you're Haynes' pilot, right? 
We gotta wait until it's late enough, then we move in the chocolate. If you wanna pilot the first leg, I'll take over once you jump! Come on, Franklin. Let's go, buddy. Got it. Great. <laughs> Better than an elevator. Ah, ah, fuck. We're in. The server room is in the southeast corner of the building. It's locked. I'm setting a charge. Hey, here you go, dog. That's a nice weapon. Good people bring the right tools for an occasion. Let's get ready for the security team. The alarm's been tripped. Yeah, no shit. An explosion will tend to do that. I'm looking at the terminal. The programs are on your cell phone. Connect it to the machine. They better be. You need to access my computer. Your cell will show as an external device. First, run Hack Connect. It'll establish a connection with the servers. Okay, connection established. Now, to take down the firewall, run BruteForce.exe. The program will expose each character of the password as it tries different encryptions. Select them quickly, because they won't be active for long. Okay, looks like we're in. Good work. Start downandout.exe, and I'll do the rest from here. 
Okay, people, we're rewriting history. The team's been deployed. Hear that? We gotta hold them off while this thing completes its process. Hey, we knew this was coming. Let's do this. We gotta fall back right there. It's underway. We need that chopper ASAP. Get her over the building. Airlift initiated. Flying by the building. Look at that. Yo, you must be, man. Here they come. Pop these motherfuckers. Process ain't finished yet! Holding over the FIB and Back up the goddamn mission! Check the entry points! Right! This out! What's happening over there? The download isn't finished. Keep holding them off while the process completes. Okay! We've got one shot in it. Pick up has to be true. Up there! Right in front! Guys! Shit, man! We know you ain't kosher! It might be tougher. He's on to us! Clear for takedown! I'm taking fire! They got me! Try to... Bring it... Under... Hold tight! Hold tight! The pilot signal is totally dead. Oh, oh no. shit, man! Change of plan! Use the backup gear! Make our way down the building, rappel off the side! Ah! They smoking us out! Smoke bomb! Be cool! Yeah, go ahead. About time! Got it. All right, people. Let's get the hell out of here. Coming through! Get on the... Weapons free! Always moving! I got this door! Dude spotted, let's move! Hold on, I hear something in the stairwell. Opening, here we go! Let's go! Hey, we got a problem up here! Sprinkler system! Can't see anything! Man, can a hacker shut it off? I'm in the system. Add a girl. Whatever we're paying you, you're worth it. On the floor, FIB. Come on. Come on. Come over here. Fuck. Well, he didn't make it. You sure, man? Cause he might be. No, he didn't make it. Are you funny, huh, motherfucker? Well, let's get the fuck out of here. No, too high. The wind will tie us in a knot. We gotta keep moving. Come on, let's go. Hey, fuck! Oh! Let's go! Run or get clapped! Go cash your pension! Moving! Moving! Come on! Oh. <coughs> step to me? Let's get out of here! Drop the fucking weapon! Get out of the way! Let's keep it moving, dog! FIB! Get down! We getting out of here! Stay close to me, dog! Federal agent! Oh, damn! Keep going! You gotta go! 
Over here, homie! After you, kid! Lead the charge, Jeff. Fuck you! Run or get clapped! Ah! Miss that to me? Ah! Following you! This might be a way out! We low enough? Yeah, this'll do. Set up the rigs. Alright, come on. What's going on on the outside? Ground units, air units, every unit in the state is on the way. I don't know if you have the firepower to hold them off. ETA is any minute. Well, then we better get gone before they show up. Let's get the fuck out of here, then. Okay, let's blow this joint. To the right, man. Look, by every flashing light in the city. It don't look like they're for us. Not yet, at least. us out front. We got what we came for. Let's get out of here. Get out of the way. Man, we going. Drop it, you gotta go, man. Let's do this. Where's our driver? Over here! Come on! Hey, get in the ambulance! Come on! Come on, so they can't see us get in! Don't discharge your weapons! We want you to think we're a legitimate paramedic crew! This might just be working. Okay, we lost him, Frank. We're meeting Lester at your place for a debrief. Hey, that was a good call on the ambulance, Eddie. I saw what was going on in the Bureau, man. I wasn't gonna drive up in something obvious. That's the thinking we pay you to do. Well, now we're clear, I can probably say I never expected to make it out of here. Yeah, sure, man. We had it covered. Oh, really? It was covered, was it? Uh, yeah. Lester had the plan. It was all set up. Yeah, we had a plan. Pulled off the nastiest team of crooked FIB agents in the country while the last of the baby boomers pretends he's a hacker? Come on. It was hope. And then when the chopper crashed? Oh, man. I thought there was no fucking way. Why do you think Lester burned down the business? Hell, why do you think I'm doing it for nothing? And these clowns are getting paid? My cut's going to the kids' college fund, if that's any consolation. A couple more scores, they're taken care of. And I can think about getting out of the game. Yeah, hey, good luck with that. Hey, man, tell him you messing with him, Mike. Hey, 
I was semi sort of serious, but joking once you reacted like that, all right? Chill out. Look, man, he was just messing with y'all. This is great sense of humor. The FIB people who put us up to this, they probably gonna pop him anyway to clean up loose end. Eddie, the place is up here. Can you ditch the vehicle and drop this guy where he wants to go? Hey, come on in, man, but don't forget to take your shoes off. Damn, Franklin! Oh, Jesus! Ah. Any longer, I was gonna torch this place, too. <laughs> hey! Hey, you did it! We did it! Yeah! yeah. Fuck it, <laughs> hey! Hey, where's my liquor at, dog? I got it. It's right here. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here it is. Come here it is. Shit. There you go. Man, you may be a conflicted, hypocritical, self-loafing old bastard, dog, but there's no one else I'd rather rob a federal building with. Me. Amen <laughs> to that. Thank you, boys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so, you want another drink? I think I better stay at least a little bit sober. I gotta deal with Davy and Dickwad yet. Put things to bed. Man, you want me to roll with you, dog? No, no, I probably better do this alone. I mean, we did everything. We're all in this together, right? So as long as we all are not together, there's nothing they can really do to us. All right, see you, dog. Take care. Then it's Trevor and I'm out. Oh, we're gonna need Trevor. Maybe you should give him a call now. Oh, fuck that. After I take care of this shit. All right, all right, well, take care of yourself. Frankie! Lester! Lester needs a drink! We hit the bureau for you, Dave. I'm done. What? Yes, I saw that. Meet me at the court center and I'll debrief you. I'm out, Davey. From now on, done. I appreciate that. I'm trying my best for you, but, but you and Trevor attacking Merriweather? Repeatedly? It doesn't help. That's Trevor's thing. Whoever's thing it is, it's unauthorized and it's dumb. They've been sniffing around my office. We really need to talk. Really? All right, all right. I'll come to the court center. Fuck. Hey, Sugar Plum. Daddy? I'm in trouble. What is it? Money? Drugs? Your mother. There's this guy. He's been following me around. I think he's about to do something. Where are you? Vinewood Plaza. Okay, wait there. He's been following me in my car, so let's just drive around and you can talk to him when he shows. Oh yeah, we'll talk. Let's see if we can find him. We should try over at Hawaiian Snow for him. We're looking for a guy in a purple convertible. I don't remember what make. 
Okay, I'll keep an eye out. Thanks, Daddy. Hey, what are dads for, huh? I mean, other than... Is he here? No, he's not around. We should try that motel opposite the big construction site. Where'd you meet this guy? Uh, at a signing? What are you signing? Hot petition? Now you better not be taking out credit like your brother. Not credit. You see him? I don't think so. Maybe we should look over at Cluck and Bell. Rockford Plaza. I, I was signing autographs at the expo. People want to meet you after that video on fame or shame? Hola. We found hey, this brick? Not yet. Okay. Oh, uh, how about going around the corner and back up the hill past Crocahoo? My baby girl's a celebrity. Very own stuff. You finally made it, Dad. You raise your kids in Rockford Hills. Ah! Purple car! That's him! Fuck! He's on you! Let's go! Hey, what are you running for, pal? Let's talk! Seriously! I didn't know he already had a sugar daddy! You should have told me you were one of those moves! I get it! I'm going! I'll never come back! I'm an addict! I need help! I'm the victim! Oh shit! Run, you little bastard! All the way out of town! I'll leave the state! I promise! I'm going to Thailand! I mean rehab! Leave me alone! Ah, wait a second! She'll never see me again! No one! Oh my God. Ah. These people are nuts! <clears throat> I had an accident. I'm sorry. We had to be sure. I just wanted you to speak to him! This was infinitely more persuasive. I never should have called you. Look, there's a lot of sickos out there. I couldn't take the chance. I know there are sickos out there. My dad is one of them. Now grow up, baby. It's time you got serious with your life. Yeah, I ain't perfect, but I love you. I guess he really scared me, but I... I didn't know what. Well, then pretend it never happened. Like I tried to 